last of the analytical models of PCE is the entity class. The entity class is sort of a container for information, meaning that it represents the database or basically any other way of storing and retrieving information which is used by the system. In the BCE basic rules, it says that there may be as many entity classes as needed. That's actually re the reason why there may be as many uh, entities as there might be, since the database which we use in the system is always the same, regardless of the use cases, and the all information like the tables in databases are stored separately and one uh, table or one entity class representing one concept of the system. So, uh, with the entity classes, the model information and it, uh, information and all the behavior related to the entity class is more or less related to the database or data management system the sys uh, we are using. Uh, it usually describes a phenomenon like event person or a real-world object and more or less up, uh, is related to the database operations like storing, editing, retrieving or removing information from the system. Uh, in the uh, entity class uh, representation, there's a couple of ways to uh, represent the entities. It's usually a circle with the line underneath it, and this uh, symbol is replicated in several ways, or like earlier, it's marked with the separate, uh, this class follows following stereotype model. So. Uh, the entity is not able to do anything by itself. The entity is only the data storage, similarly as the boundary is only the uh, user interface or the way to connect, collect or se uh, send or show, or present information from the system. So, uh, this means also that the entity cannot be connected to anything else besides other entity, like tables are interconnected in databases, but and they have also always have to be connected to one control class, which then does the management or of the in information or like sorting or calculations, or editing or any other manipulation activity. In the uh, example, this means that the control class is always herding the entity classes. The entity classes only store the information, control class always manages the data, and the uh, boundary classes are always representing the outer layer or connection points to the system. Going more into this uh, example, this can also be represented as a sequence diagram, starting from one employee, uh, set inputting their working hours, opening our form, and so on and so on. Different classes exchanging information in a use case that simply says that employee has to be able to save their weekly work hours to the projects they have been working in. So, this is more or less how we use the BCE modeling. The system is very mechanic. It cannot be argued that it's somewhat artificial, but it's a starting point to go from the purely analytical or purely uh, requirements-based domain models and business models towards something that gives us more tangible uh, results or more practical way to describe the system and start going from the requirements into the technical solutions. And for example, the boundaries, the boundary classes or the identified boundaries are next designed so that they can be 
uh, created with the platform used or that there's the data necessary data connections between the interfaces of different information systems. The contents of each control class are then divided into different components which may or may not be separate components and the, based on the entity classes, the database entries and tables and all the other necessary data storage systems are created so that the data can actually be saved somewhere.